so how was the trip structured? Obviously, it became a film, so there's cameras on board. How was the film uh, structured in terms of who would be coming and going off the boat and who would be operating in what role? Yeah, so because I mean, because of the nature of the trip, um, we, you know, it basically we had, you know, the concept of making a film from the journey, um, and Ishka, you know, was the main filmer and obviously the editor of the film, um, so he was, I guess, the director, um, and Ishka, you know, could only join us for periodically, you know shorter stints three to four weeks i think in total he maybe spent six to eight weeks out of the year um another filmer that we had was kelly foot and kelly's a sailor himself and he kind of he reached out to ayana and i um early stages of the trip just saying hey stoked on the trip you guys are doing love to get involved you know i've got this experience you know can i help out in any way um and he was a really great asset to us he, we learned a lot from kelly he was there for um this was after george left immediately after george left kelly came um Ke kelly knows his way around a camera and a boat um and it was a really nice transition going from george who was totally in control to kelly who had my had our back um and you know he kind of took a little bit more of a role of documenting it um, whilst being there for support for Ayana and I let us make the calls and we could just bounce off him. Um, so Kelly was with us for a month, a um, few weeks either side of reaching waves, so a couple of weeks before, a couple of weeks while we reached waves. And then, um, then Ishka came with Ryan once we'd reached waves, they came for two weeks. Uh, obviously Ishka took over the filming role and then and Ryan helped Ayana and I, as he did, experience sailing to surf, which was great. Um, and then it was this kind of, I mean, we'd been on Clipty for a couple of months, but um, basically Ishka and Ryan left at the same time. And all of a sudden, it's just Ayana and I in the Indian Ocean out there just fending for ourselves, totally responsible for everything, you know on board every decision we made we had to you know answer to um it was we were ready for it um uh, mentally and physically we were really looking forward to that, having that space just together and with ourselves but um it was definitely like a, a oh shit moment like a, oh yep but now we're really doing it it's just us like sort of thing um so yeah i mean and you know throughout the whole journey we had months and months that would go undocumented um you know like i had a little camera on board that would film little bits and pieces but there were yeah tons of surfs and and you know scary and, and amazing beautiful moments that did not get documented um there was yeah when once we got a little bit further down down south another yeah maybe a couple of months um when we got down around the i won't even say where but we had another couple of filmers sort of join us periodically or linked up, you know, for a couple of surfs when there'd be a swell. Um, Inigo Grasset, he's a, a Spanish fella, really nice and talented um, videographer. There's some beautiful footage of his in the film. Milo Inglis. Milo, I'd, I'd admired some of Milo's filming work uh, beforehand, so I knew that he was, he knew what he was doing behind the camera and, um, I asked Milo, I'm like, hey, mate, have you got any sailing experience? Have you have you been spending any time around boats, you know? And he, he's like, oh, yeah, 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 I've got a yeah, little bit of experience. So I think he said he's he had his, um, he had maybe just a, a crew, a ticket, a crew ticket or something, you know, like he'd, he'd done a course. And I was like, oh, that's great. Like, that's more experience than I've got. Sweet, you know. So, um, yeah, we, we, um, we had Milo on board for, about four or five weeks on the boat at one stage and um milo was just yeah he got some absolutely beautiful footage um it was a real real pleasure to travel with um yeah and just good company but he hadn't had a a lot of experience on boats and i think he thought also that we knew what we were doing <laughs> um so we get there and i'm like milo that's great you're here like can you help me with this and, he's, and he was like, uh, like, I don't know what that is. I'm like, fuck, I don't know what that is. Like, and we just had this, and it was kind of this moment where I was like, oh shit, like, 
you know, I was like kind of hoping for someone else to lean on right now. It's like, you know, some moments get pretty stressful. Um, yeah. But it was it was great. It, it made me grow through it, um, and it was great to again have someone else there that we can even just bouncing questions. And when you're unsure of something, you know, it yeah. um, just helps to have someone to kind of you know throw the pros and cons up and you know brainstorm and and whatnot. But um, but yeah, that was pretty much that was it. Um, Ishka Ishka came a couple of times throughout the film. Milo came for those four weeks, Kelly for four weeks. Yeah, there was probably four months out of the 12 months were documented. Wow. Uh, and then the rest, yeah, there's some some imagery and stuff throughout the film that Ayana and I took. Um, but, yeah, it was it, like I really, really embraced and enjoyed that time not filming. It was beautiful for Ayana and I. We had this, you know, like we were just alone out there and no cameras really, you know, just, you know, it felt just epic to be having these surfs just together and just sort of, yeah, soaking it all in and not feeling like any pressure um, to film, not that really do um, the way that we travel, but um, it kind of became a little bit of a hurdle in the second, like in the editing, like the post-production stage when um, Ayana and I had finished this epic journey of ours that, you know, we'd grown and changed as people, I felt, um, and I wanted to basically try and tell the story with the film with that had limited footage to show, you know, mm -hmm. like of, of these, you know, events and things that happen and, you know, you, you do, you, you change as a person, you have these really profound experiences that, you know, if you try to say or tell someone and it kind of like doesn't translate, you know, and um, as, you know, as for the person, that had that um so yeah i mean that that kind of made it a little bit challenging um in the you know in the making of the film um in the editing of the film but yeah the footage from milo kelly carlo um you know everyone they got those 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 extra few sessions and captured those extra moments that ayana and i couldn't get was yeah really amazing really helped helped us all to create the film that we did yeah I suppose also, just go ahead. I was just going to also add, yeah, with you know, like having Ryan to bounce off and help with the storytelling and stuff like that was, yeah. And it is when it comes back, it is we are all a little team, you know, and um, yeah. Well, I was just thinking, hearing you say some of that, that uh, there's almost no amount of footage that you could have gathered that would really accurately represent the change that you went through and the what it means to you personally, you know because it is just it's impossible to put into words or visuals probably totally yeah and it's all these like just little moments you know that you have and you know it may be um a local fisherman just coming up and a, a small interaction with them or you know buying squid and fish off them for weeks at a time or you know you'd be in the middle of a crossing and laying there on the deck just staring at the stars um in the middle of the ocean feeling like the only person on earth and you know and then you know simple daily tasks and things where you you know getting fruit and veggie and water and fuel and stuff like that and interacting with you know village people and yeah i mean it's just yeah it's a, it's it's a beautiful way of life um living on the boat and it's also i mean it's quite can be quite confronting as well like you're very much that the boat is i guess a metaphor for you know it's it's essentially your world you know why you're there and everything in and on that boat um is what matters the most to you and you're so responsible for everything um, from, you know, the waste that you make, um, you know, and where it goes and, you know, the food that you eat, the drink, the, you know, the water that you drink, um, you know, the energy, the power that you consume from your solar. There's just, um, you know, there's so, yeah, you're just so connected in that little world and it, it's, it's, you know, it's an amazing experience and it's something that's hard to kind of, explain to someone else without having had that yourself 